నెక్స్ట్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ మికాలిస్ మెండన్ కైనటిక్స్ మికాలిన్స్ మెండన్ కైనటిక్స్ మెకానిజం షోస్ హౌ ది ఇనిషియల్ రేట్ ఆఫ్ ది రియాక్షన్ దట్ ఈస్ మోస్ట్లీ రిప్రజెంటెడ్ యాజ్ వి నాట్ హౌ ఇనిషియల్ రేట్ ఆఫ్ ద రియాక్షన్ డిపెండ్స్ ఆన్ ది సబ్స్ట్రేట్ కాన్సన్ట్రేషన్ సో ఇఫ్ యూ టేక్ ఎ రియాక్షన్ వేర్ ది ఎన్జైమ్ కేటలైజెస్ ఎ పర్టికులర్ రియాక్షన్ అకార్డింగ్ టు దిస్ మెకానిజం ద రియాక్షన్ కుడ్ బి రిప్రజెంటెడ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఈ ప్లస్ ఎస్ గివ్స్ ఈఎస్ విచ్ డిసోసియేట్ టు గివ్ E plus P. Here E represents enzyme, S represents substrate and the reaction constant, the rate constant is K1 for this reaction so that there will be the formation of an intermediate or the intermediate compound where the substrate is attached to enzyme. And the reverse reaction could be rate constant is represented as k minus 1 and the next reaction so for this the michaelis menden model for enzyme kinetics comprises two steps so this according to this model enzyme active enzyme catalysis happens in two steps step 1 is binding step 1 is binding binding means the substrate binds to the enzyme and the step 2 is catalysis this is what the step 2 that is catalysis catalysis include the substrate is converted to product and the product is released and if you take the first step the rate constant for the forward reaction is represented by k1 the rate constant for the backward reaction is represented by k minus 1 the same way for the second step the rate constant for the forward reaction is represented as k2 and the rate constant for the reverse reaction is represented as k minus 2 so recall please understand the mikhail mikhail is menden equation shows how the initial rate of the reaction depends on the substrate concentration that's what we have to find out so in order to achieve a relation between these two there are many steps many assumptions you have to make so i would like to number it it's it's very important when you are deriving the equation the very first assumption is number 1 the binding step this is the binding step binding step is very fast so it happens very fast the reason is if it is very fast then only you can expect reaching the equilibrium ratio between the molar concentration of the enzyme molar concentration of the substrate and the molar concentration of the enzyme substrate intermediate and the step 2 it is very slow when it is very slow you can recall that for a complex reaction what determine the order of the reaction that the the slowest determine step determines the order of the reaction so that the catalytic step is lower and thus that is the rate limiting or the rate determining step and the point 2 is assumption number 2 is at early time points that means at the beginning of the reaction the initial velocity is measured at the time p is equal to 0 so at the beginning when you measure the initial velocity of the reaction or initial rate of the reaction the molar concentration of the product is supposed to be 0 that is an assumption at the beginning molar concentration of the product is zero 
and the third assumption is the molar concentration of the intermediates immediately come to a steady state so immediately come to a steady state means what you have to understand is the molar concentration of the enzyme substrate intermediate is constant that means whatever be the amount of in enzyme in substrate intermediate state is formed to the same extent it is reacted so throughout the measured portion of the reaction please understand that the molar concentration of the enzyme substrate intermediate is constant so es immediately come to steady state so the fourth assumption it is if you compare the molar concentration of the substrate to the molar concentration of the total enzyme the total enzyme means it is the uh, enzyme that is present over here this plus molar concentration of this enzyme plus molar concentration of this enzyme substrate intermediate so please understand that the substrate concentration is assumed to be quite large when it is compared to the molar concentration of the enzyme total con concentration of enzyme so that the fraction of s that binds to the enzyme to form es is negligible so we apply a condition that the substrate is quite large in a in ex large excess in amount when the substrate is in large excess in amount what happens the enzymes concentration is very low you can always say that the substrate concentration will not change as we have applied in case of the pseudo unimolecular reaction when you have taken the water is in excess it will not have any effect on the rate of the reaction it will not be participating in the reaction as it represents an order so here also the substrate concentration is constant at early time points so during the course of the reaction substrate concentration will not change that means substrate concentration is constant because when you compare the concentration of the substrate with enzyme it is quite large and the enzyme concentration is very less and the fifth point i have already told that is the enzyme exists in only two form two forms one is free enzyme the other one is substrate bound enzyme thus the total enzyme concentration could be written as et molar concentration of the total enzyme could be written as the molar concentration of free enzyme plus molar concentration of substrate bound enzyme concentration so these are the five assumptions you have to recall so that when we derive an equation for the michaelis menten kinetics it will be easy for you we have to do we have to derive michaelis menten equation on the basis of the above set assumptions so initially we will start what will be the initial rate of the reaction so i have already told you that the second step is the slowest step so that is the rate determining step so the overall rate of the reaction is determined by the rate of the catalytic step so you can write v not is equal to k2 into molar concentration of enzyme substrate intermediate minus k minus 2 into molar concentration of enzyme and the product so this represents the rate of the forward reaction and if you are bothered about the molar concentration the rate of the initial overall rate of the reaction so the rate is determined the slowest step so forward reaction will be the giving the actual rate but 
some amount of the product getting produced is reacting back so that you need to consider the backward reaction also so this is supposed to be the actual equation that represents the overall rate of the reaction now this is according to the assumption 1 if you take the assumption 2 you could see that the second term is equal to 0 why it is equal to 0 it is said that initially the molar concentration of the product is 0 when the molar concentration of the product is 0 total part that is k minus 2 into molar concentration of the enzyme into molar concentration of the product full this part will become is 0 so that you can write v naught is equal to k2 into molar concentration of the enzyme substrate here there is a small issue that is it is not easy to measure the molar concentration of the enzyme substrate so you need to go for some theoretical method in order to measure the molar concentration of the enzyme substrate so what are we going to do is we are applying the steady state approximation steady state approximation i have already told you have to understand in simple way that the molar concentration of the enzyme substrate is constant whatever be the amount of enzyme substrate is getting produced to the same extent it is getting reacted off so according to steady state if you write according to the third assumption that is k1 you can write like this k1 into molar concentration of enzyme into molar concentration of substrate plus k minus 2 into molar concentration of enzyme into molar concentration of product is equal to k minus 1 into molar concentration of enzyme substrate plus k2 into molar concentration of enzyme substrate what i have written is rate of formation of molar concentration of enzyme substrate is equal to is represented by this and it is the rate of for breakdown of the enzyme substrate it is represented by this so now if we look into the second assumption you can simplify it like this because the product molar concentration of the product will become zero so that you can write it as k1 into molar concentration of enzyme into molar concentration of substrate is equal to molar concentration of enzyme substrate into k minus 1 plus k2 like this you can write now you can simplify the reaction by factoring out the enzyme substrate to call our concentration of enzyme substrate and group the rate constant it will be given like this here the ratio of the rate constant the rate constants is what we call the michaelis mendens constant km so you can write the equation as molar concentration of the enzyme into molar concentration of the substrate as equal to molar concentration of enzyme substrate intermediate into km that is michaelis mendens constant we haven't sorted out the issue yet actually the issue is we cannot directly measure the molar concentration of enzyme substrate complex so for that what do we do now the issue is we cannot measure the molar concentration of enzyme substrate complex and also enzyme substrate intermediate and also it is difficult to measure the enzyme which is getting produced at the end of the stage but one thing is sure the total amount of enzyme is equal to the sum of the molar concentration of the enzyme substrate intermediate and the molar concentration of enzymes 
So, according to the assumption 5, you can write the molar concentration of enzyme as, so if you take the previous equation, that is molar concentration of molar concentration of enzyme into molar concentration of substrate is equal to molar concentration of enzyme substrate into K. So here what you can do instead of E you can write molar concentration of total enzyme minus molar concentration of enzyme substrate complex. You can write like this into the molar concentration of substrate is equal to molar concentration of enzyme substrate into Michaelis Menden's constant. This is capital letter K. So you can simplify it like molar concentration of enzyme substrate complex, molar concentration of substrate minus molar concentration of enzyme substrate complex into molar concentration of substrate is equal to molar concentration of enzyme substrate complex into Km. So we can multiply, rearrange, factor and divide to get what is the molar concentration of enzyme substrate in terms of the total enzyme concentration and the substrate concentration and Mikhail is Menden's constant. So you can write Et into molar concentration of substrate is equal to Es into molar concentration of substrate plus Mikhail is Menden's constant. So you can rearrange it as molar concentration of total enzyme into concentration of enzyme total molar concentration of substrate divided by Michaelis Menden's constant into molar concentration of substrate is equal to molar concentration of enzyme substrate. So this expression could be substituted in the equation that is V0 is equal to K2 into molar concentration of Es, you will be getting an equation like this that is V0 V0 is equal to K2 into molar concentration of enzyme substrate could be written as K2 divided by molar concentration of enzyme total enzyme into molar concentration of substrate divided by molar the Michael is Menden's constant into molar concentration of substrate. So you can get like this. Now you can read that V0 is equal to this expression. Now we will apply two conditions. One condition what is that is at high substrate concentration at high substrate concentration you can see that the molar concentration of the substrate is far far greater than the Mikhail is Menten's constant so the equation is going to get simplified because when SC is far far greater than Km this Km will be negligible, so you will be getting only molar concentration of substrate and this molar concentration of substrate and this substrate will get cancelled. So you will be getting the equation as V is equal to K2 into Et. This is how you are going to get. So when the molar concentration of the substrate is very high, it is supposed to be the molar concentration of the substrate is far far greater than the Michael is Menden's constant. So nearly all the enzyme will have a substrate to bound. There will not be any enzyme particles left out. So 
and es approaches to et means after the reaction if you take the first reaction see this equation whatever be the amount of enzyme is getting formed whatever be the amount of enzyme is getting formed that will again attach with the substrate there will not be any enzyme which is left out without substrate so this is the maximum of the rate of this reaction so here we can write the rate of the reaction is maximum we will represent it by using max v max so v max is equal to k2 into the molar concentration of the total enzyme this is when v0 approaches to v max since v0 is equal to k2 into molar concentration of enzyme substrate intermediate so substituting v max into the rate equation gives the mikhail is menden equation so instead of k2 et you can write v max so that the equation could be written as initial equation could be written as v max into molar concentration of substrate divided by km into molar concentration of substrate this is all about the mikhail is menden's mechanism and the mikhail is menden equation now i would urge you to go through the notes it is clearly written whatever i have explained in that it is a just one page mechanism the derivation of the equation and it's a most more or less it is a sure question so today itself you be thorough with the menden mikhailis mechanism and uh, please understand uh, you need to buy hard this they used to ask this for 5 marks please go through the notes